Welcome back to World Rampage. Today we are exploring the whaling station in Albany, as well as the Torn Deer Up National Park, with all its little spots to explore. So we just got to the whaling station. Uh, we're sending the drone up for a little bit of footage and waiting on some more people to come and join us. And Dom and I are going to try to recreate a, a photo that we did like 30 years ago. <laughs> shells um, and has chosen this place to display them so as you can see behind me there is just shells everywhere and um, yeah this is Hilda little old granny I reckon this one's the coolest part how cool is that shell Albany has a pretty dark whaling history to it. Uh, like most parts of the world, back in the early 1900s, whaling was a huge thing. We used the whale blubber for, you know, making fires and cooking and stuff like that, and the meat to eat. So, and as you can see just over here behind me, there's one of the old whaling ships that they've beached. As a timely reminder of the terrible things that the human race did. Everything is open and there's so much to see, as well as some interactive areas too. I am the captain now. buildings and sheds and museums and have loads of information. It's pretty big too so it never gets too packed in any one place. Being in here alone almost feels like an urbex. We haven't done one of them for a while, but this place would have been awesome when it was abandoned. Just to have a climb. So these buildings and the factory were originally used by the Shane's, Shane's Beach Whaling Company for 26 years, from 1952 until its closure in 1978. 1978, it's 2022. That's only 44 years ago that we shut these places like this down in Australia. That's absolutely ridiculous. I fucking hate this place. It's so fucking depressing. I know it's part of our history, but that's a shit part. The oil tanks here used to hold all the whale fat in them. Um, they have now been turned into theatres so that you can watch some infomercial stuff about the whales and sharks. Um, I personally can't handle the smell, it still stinks after all these years, so I am avoiding that one and staying outside. I'm going to head up to the Panorama Tower. So you can see everything from every angle. including the smelly towers. And we did it. We recreated our photo after 27 years. So 
So it took us about two hours to get through it all and we definitely didn't see everything or read everything. So definitely take a few hours out of your day to do this, especially if you're quite interested in all the information. We're gonna head over to the cafe now and get some lunch and then carry on with the rest of our day. So all us boys are lined up here while we're waiting for our food. The girls are inside. We went and ordered it. We're sitting here like hungry men. Hungry. After lunch, it was off to explore Tandirup National Park. The National Park has lots of great places to explore. We checked out Albany Gap, Natural Bridge, the Blowholes and Sharp Point. So because this is technically a national park, you do need to buy entry fees. If you're doing more than one or two days worth of parks, um, I would suggest getting the five day pass because then that covers you and you only have to pay $25 once rather than $15 every day. Or you can buy a yearly pass if you're doing more than a few days. The Gap is a granite channel that has been carved by the waves of the Great Southern Ocean. Since 1973, six people have died in this area. So make sure to stay on the platform and stay on the path for your own safety. But in circulation, one step at a time, yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to... You know, it pours out of there like a waterfall, comes out. Oh, see, look, now it's coming out, like a waterfall. So what do we think of the natural bridge guys? 10 out of 10. Wish I could climb. The blowholes is a bit of a walk, so a great way to tell if there's going to be blowholes or not and make it worth the walk is to see if there's some really big waves. Big waves means lots of air is pushed through those holes and creates the blowhole. <laughs> Any second now, it's gonna blow straight out at me. Maybe. <laughs> there it is. Temptation. <laughs> I know that I like to do it because of sensation. I live my life in my head like a narration. Don't expect greatness, do my best, man. I'll take it. Wake up. We had such a good time at the blowholes. So many giggles, lots of photo opportunities, and of course a little bit of slow mo. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, this was a good one, eh? Hey? All right, the narries. <laughs> Big one's coming. <laughs> Holy fuck, that was insane. <laughs> this is too much fun. <laughs> Albany blowholes, highly suggest. After the blowholes, it was back to camp, but Luke and I got sidetracked and took a little detour. So when driving on gravel roads, when you hit the rutted parts, speed up. The faster you go over them, the less work on your suspension and the smoother the ride. But when you get to corners like this, there's not much you can do, but hang on. <laughs> do not speed up around the corners when they're like that. We ended up finding this very less known walk trail. And it wasn't until Jesse went running towards a cliff that we realized the beautiful viewpoint that it was. Slow down. That is a long way down. Wow. Lots of tired eyes around camp. 
But we had to keep partying because New Year's Eve was fast approaching. Warm drink, and we've also got a bit of ice cream down too. Megan Love, I do a So, New Year's Eve 2022, we're down at Albany Anzac Park. And they've got a big concert on behind me, as you can see. There's a few people here, it's only 5.30 in the evening, so early days, but apparently it's going to go off down here. Fireworks at 9 o'clock and midnight. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. The decision makers are making the decisions. <laughs> what are you thinking, Scotty? I'm thinking it looks pretty uh, wet, windy, a bit cold. <laughs> it is, it's very cold. <laughs> uh, so, this decision has been made that we're going to go up the street in the main town of Albany to get some food. So, the food up here is much better than the food back there. Yeah. See what we get. After having our dinner, we headed back down to the foreshore where the crowd definitely got bigger. The entertainment was awesome and all the kids had heaps of fun. Are you guys having a good time? That's excellent. I'd have a better time with your mom. We are as well. The nine o'clock fireworks went off with a bang, and then it was time to head back home. Okay, fireworks are over. It's freezing cold. It's time to go back home to where it's nice and warm. Um, Albany put on some really good fireworks. What do you reckon, Josh? Are they good? Yeah, they're pretty awesome. So, yeah, now we're heading back to the car in the throng of people and hopefully get back to the warm accommodation because I am freezing. The next morning we went to the Anzac Museum and we also got bogged. So you'll have to like and subscribe to see the next video.